Good morning, Old Man's Land. Today is Friday, midsummer season. It is currently 638 and 16 degrees. Today's weather forecast is a high of 27, mostly cloudy with rains possible in the afternoon. Have a wonderful day. Okay, so let's get started and actually see what we need to do today. First of all, we have the cash to actually buy some more land. So let's check our growth state for land, uh, for grass, because I want to know, yes, we could harvest here or here. And I'm kind of tempted to go in with number 25 for now let's turn grass off again our fields are not going to be ready yet if you actually check in seasons we have canola it's I might be getting ready today but it's not so we're going to be probably harvesting it tomorrow so we I expect that we're going to be getting a harvester tomorrow. So let's see. And the other is soybean, uh, which is the earliest in two days from now. So we are not going to be harvesting those today. But this means we probably can check on our silage. Well, it's not quite fermented yet, so it actually takes a full cycle, a full day. But by buying the other, f the other plot over here, there's a nice viewpoint. This plot here, we could cut out a few of the trees that we don't need and create nice large fields. But the creating of fields and the cutting out of trees, we have a little bit of time. We can cut the grass though for silage. So let's buy this piece of land and get cutting. Okay, now our farm just doubled in size. Exciting, exciting, exciting. So let's get our tractor set up for mowing so that we actually can start recouping some of the money. I actually probably set down the front loader for that. Because we're going to be going out, we're going to be a while at it. So let's get this out of the viewing field. So let's test how far our lands actually go. That is quite a bit. We are still going. So let's cut on our perimeter. This tree is inside. Okay. And while we are cutting this, update on my server adventure. So yes, it's making progress. Copying of the files of the data is progressing. So I expect to potentially install the server this afternoon. And having the server reinstalled then allows me to actually get back into editing and creating episodes. So. That is why I'm recording this episode right now, episode 5. At this time, only episode 1 is actually on YouTube. And I'm 
recording already episode 5. So I expect that there's going to be a quick succession posting of episodes 2, 3, 4 and 5. So my plan is actually getting them ready and focusing on this, their next, and getting those ready and to post probably every day, one after the other. I don't want to post more than one episode of the gameplay at a time, simply because of how I understand the YouTube algorithm actually works. So by posting one at, uh, per day, I'm still creating that sequence for uh, the playlist sequence uh, and so on, so that we're not jumbling around uh, and making a mess in the playlist there. That is why I want to post one every day then. Uh, but the idea is to actually get the episodes two to five out to you guys. And as of now, with one video posted, I have my first subscriber. I know who he is, but he has chosen not to show his name on YouTube, so I'm not going to be naming him. I'm going to be respecting, and that is universally uh, applicable for everybody. I'm going to be uh, respecting your wishes. So if you don't want to have your name posted on YouTube, it's not going to be posted there. Uh, also, if a name is being posted, it's going to be your YouTube handle and I will never reveal somebody's full name. This is a public platform and privacy is important here. So, uh, because I would not want my rights and my privacy being jeopardized without asking. I'm definitely not going to be doing that. So at most I will post either the YouTube handle that you're using or a first name with a last name initial if you're talking about your real name. Even if I know your name, even if it's fine with you, I'm not going to be doing it simply to keep it consistent and predictable for everyone. And like I said, it's going to be the most, is this what I'm going to be posting? What? Um, but if you don't want your name posted at all, totally fine, let me know. I totally respect that. And this would totally go over with me fine to posting a user and keeping a keeping your name completely out of it. That is no hard feelings there, not at all, not in the slightest. So don't feel pressured here. This is not what we do on this channel. This channel is where everybody is welcome. Everybody needs to feel at home and at ease.
Yeah, I think we can put the map away because we now know where our lands are. So last night, after we left our farmer, we still need a name for him. Make a few suggestions down in the comments and I'm going to be putting up a poll so that we actually can decide together on a name for our farmer. So for now I'm going to be calling him just our farmer. So after we left our farmer last night, he actually got another visit. Or another visitor. And this time it was a again the gendarmerie so a lot going on here apparently he seems to be the big news in the area so anyhow uh this time it was a female gendarme and he was quite taken by her so let's see where this is going her name is julie and uh she actually came on official business because on a farm to the west of his valley, so just one over, and there's an older farmer. There's actually a couple of smaller farms over there. And one of the farms uh, is an older farmer and he had a fire. So, and it definitely looks like the fire was intentionally set so it's arson and it was set to uh, his machine shed so the damage that he has is quite significant uh, but the concern is that it appears to be arson so the investigation is still ongoing and um, but what Julie actually came over with uh, for and that's what they're doing with all the farmers in the region. If there is arson and they don't have a suspect, they are informing everybody so that folks can be on the lookout, can be vigilant and not get themselves into trouble or into any dangerous situation, but simply to be careful that something is going on in the area. So we're going to be staying on top of it, what actually happened there. We're going to be following that story, how that develops. But I think the really nice news here is our farmer has an interest. So let's see where this is going. And you guys let me know if you are interested in that kind of a storyline. Putting something on the side here as an additional storyline. So let me know. But our farmer has been, of course, is concerned with this kind of a development and he's been thinking about it and he came up with an idea we're going to be looking at that after we've done today's work immediate today's work we need to get this huge grass field node and put it into our bunker actually it might not even fit into our bunker so and with playing on seasons, I don't want to keep the grass out for too long. So not overnight, because we're going to be losing volume. So I'll probably... interrupt the mowing in a little bit. And get the mill set up to fill our second silo, our second bunker. get this one trailer because I don't get it why it doesn't allow me to fill this trailer with the mill and yes in case you're wondering uh, this is canola 
and it's still growing. So if you actually check it. So the growth is not complete yet. So yes, it looks like it's done. So if you're coming from Farming Simulator and not playing on Seasons, it would be done, but not on Seasons. So let's customize you. And just with this, let's take off the cover and see if this works. Because I really would like to use both the traders when going out. It makes out of the 21,000 liters, 33,000 liters that we can bring in. That is a significant difference. it like this. It always looks like you have a lot of room, but once you're actually going in here with equipment, it becomes crowded very quickly. So let's go to this view for this task. It was 10,000 liters. Just this one trip over. Here again on the edge of Yeah, the mill doesn't like the edge of the land. Now it's getting interesting. Ha! Yeah, those trailers are getting heavy for our little tractor. Little tip side left. Okay. And what are you in the back? Tip side left. Okay. Both are tipping to the left. Before we go in here, where are we here? 88. So around lunchtime.
usually I would do it as with a full trailer that I'm concerned with the small tractor that I would get that stuck. So I'm kind of surprised that it goes this well with the mill on the front and two trailers. So I'm very pleased how this actually works out at the moment. That's why I keep going to get it actually compacted down because I also want to go through the bunker in the other direction so that we're tipping to the A, tipping to the same side but on the other side of the bunker. That actually compacts nicely. It's really good to try for. Okay, we're at 98. That is, let's call this good enough for now. So yes, while our farmer is working here, here thinking about Julie, and why was she this agitated because of this suspect arson? I mean, yes, it is a heinous crime if it is arson, but it appeared to be more for her. It, knew, it appeared to be personal, so there is something to discover. There is a story there. Most of the time while she was talking about it, she was looking to the west. So something really is close to her about this. So you guys let me know if you want this kind of storyline in this gameplay. Or if it's something that, that you say, no, not here. Oops. Hey, everyone. Let's try if we can pick up something over there a bit more. Okay, we've got 12.03, or 12.04. Let's check how our other bunker is doing. And, no, we don't have an additional growth date in there. And while we're in here, let's check on prices. So, wheat would be high of 7.10, barley 6.60, oat 11.20. So, we're nowhere near being high. Canola would be 12.70. We don't have sunflower. Our soy. Topped out, I think we sold it for 2100, so that is good. And the corn is also gone. So we don't have anything at prices. We don't have anything in stock at nice prices that would be worth selling for. But we can check. 99%. So I guess we are going to be Let's move that into the center there more. Yeah, 
not quite there yet because the rain is coming this afternoon. Let's see what the more detailed forecast is saying. Around 3 o'clock. So, and then at 6 o'clock it's really pouring. So, I am going to use the time that we have to cut a little bit more grass and get it into the bunker. See you in a bit. Rain is early. Oh, let's get this grass into the bunker. Try doing that with the loading wagon. Okay, it's fermented, so we can start selling it. So we will finish the other one, close it off, and then sell this one, and then keep cutting the grass once the rain is over. Well, let's clean up our silo and cover it. As you probably can tell, sometimes there are little cuts in my recording.
You know what? That is unfortunate, but... There you go. Thank you. I can't get into the bunker like that. Two hundred and twenty one thousand liters. Let's quickly double check. Ah, that is the one that we need. Yeah, we're down to ninety dollars. Which is still fine, I think. Now what before I'm starting that? Why can't you take the sandwich? That doesn't make sense. I'm sure it takes the silage. Yes. Let's try a little bit a different tactic. Sometimes this works, but it should not be a problem in the first place. Yeah, sometimes this uh, mill is a little bit finicky. So for this trip, I want to remind on the Easter egg hunt that is going on here. So far, I have seen glimpses of four Easter eggs. And with so far, I don't mean in this episode, so far in this series, in all episodes together, I have seen four. Happy hunting!
Can I squeeze past it? Yes. Yeah, so once we get a BGA in here, this is going to be a completely different game, making money with silage. Not only making money with silage, but also then getting the manure back, or the fertilizer back, to actually use instead of our chemical fertilizers. Interesting. I can't tell it to empty it here. I'm just thinking, do we need a bucket for our front loader? I don't think so. Not right now. The moment you're doing it right, it actually works. Sometimes. I'm going to be filling up the tank here. We've been burning through quite a bit of fuel. And as you can see, we are above 100,000 euros. So we are going to be okay to buy a harvester. Which is good, because we will need one tomorrow. Somebody has been driving like a drunk sailor. I wonder who that was. I just tried if the mill actually is emptying the chaff out that it has sitting at the moment. Look at that. Our tractor is nicely clean. Mostly clean. So the question becomes what do we do as for our fields? in the larger picture, that is. So what I'm kind of thinking is using this road that comes up here. Let's just align with it. Yeah. And just have that continue on. So, going into this field and cutting through this field that we have here. Not right now, but that is what I'm thinking longer term. And that then actually would mean this field starts here. I just need to go into our eagle eye for the road, that we can see it. So this is where the field then actually would be going. And then we have 
this road going up here. So this is where the field would be going to. I actually like that. And then once we're buying the next one up here, we can add all this section to the field. Because there's the next road. Can you see that? There's the next road. And then we have this steep cliff here. So we can keep the field below the cliff. And go over here. That is where the cliff is coming out. Where's my map that I can... I want to check something here from this tree here let's use this tree as a marker let's dial it 180 degrees two cells okay Do you see that? We are nearly lined up with our road. Our road comes right here. Okay. A plan is forming in my head. A map is forming in my head. Let me show you. Just trying to line up with our road down there. And then... Uh, yeah. There's our zero degrees. We are pretty much lined up with our road. Yeah, of course, the tree is in the way. So let's get around that. Let's get back to our zero degrees. Okay, so it's this tree that we need to use as a marker, not that one. That puts us right into the cliff. So this complete thing in here could be a nice field. That actually would work, wouldn't it? There's the road on top there. Yeah, this would be a nice field. And we could keep going with this field. There's the road coming down. That would be a nice large field. Yeah, there's the road. Then we could take this other field here. Do a separation here. Continue that one, perhaps even continue the wooded area and extend that and this field up into the road there. Okay, that would be a nice large field. That is starting to come together as a nice plan. Let me know, let me know what you think about it. drive back and then we can pull up the map and kind of draw on the map with the mouse and I'm going to be putting lines on in the edit then the map. So what I'm thinking is taking this road here 
and continuing that road all the way to up here. Then take this field here that is up to the right. Yeah, that's our stone there. We would just extend it up there, something like that, to the road there. So that is one field. And on the left here, we are taking this, going around it, and going all the way back here. That's a nice U-shaped, large U-shaped field. Like that. I like that. Then we can take this one up here from the road, the air one. Okay, so that is the bottom here. That's the top here. That is once we are actually getting the next three pieces of land up there. Four, because we also need this one. Okay, there's the next $340,000 gone. Now we need to look into here. I'm kind of thinking of making this down here one large field. I'm actually using this road here as a divider. Putting a road in here making using that as a divider. Leaving this wooded area. So I would leave that and basically do something like that. There's one field, and this would mean from north here, this would be another field. We could combine that with that. Other idea. Not a crazy idea. If we take out that piece of our woods here, we could extend this field up to the road here, then continue going eagle eye all the way out here. I like that. Okay, this would mean we would need to cut out all these trees, all this wood, but where do we move this piece of forest to? Because like I said, I would not like to just cut down trees. Ha! Huh. There. We don't need this cut through anymore because we have the other road then. We fill this in. So if we fill this whole area in, that is about the same as that over there. Yep, that is deal. Okay. Now we should uh, do a couple more things today. We can't cut grass. Our silage is fermenting. We've sold the one that we had. So we should get the remainder of our trees out of the forest. And it's getting close to the evening. Our farmer had an idea. And what he gets is a dog if there are Why do I need to go this far away? Ah, because the dog is running around at the front there. I could bet if I'm going this way around. No, it's still the same. Okay, then you're going. Then you're getting your nice little cozy corner here. So now we have a dog. The folks with doing their arson can try to deal with that. It's not about what the dog is going to be doing. It is about making it more difficult for the folks creating an additional barrier there. 
that prevents it from being simple. That's what this is about. I think so. Now the question is, can I plant a couple more? There is one planted, there is one. Looks like we only have those two left. And now our farmer wonders if Julie likes dogs. This was going a little bit too easy. What is this? Screw that. Okay, what is it with this tree? Is it slippery because it's raining? Beautiful. does not require enemies if working with this tree. Let's clean up the stump cutter. Now oh, we should check.
It's even beautiful in the rain. Let's see what the weather forecast is saying. Say. Yeah, it's going to be raining for the rest of the day. And then it's cloudy tomorrow. Let's see if it's getting dry enough then that we can harvest. Yeah, because we are far too bad. We did good today. Got the dog. Got some land. Could sell silage. Did make a boatload. More silage. 20% done. There you go. Actually looking on the map. Let's turn on grass and then looks at the growth. You see how little we actually cut. There's at least half, if not 60% still there. So we can take down, we can at least fill the other bunker with this. Completely. Same one as this one. We, had, we have got about 220,000 liters in there. So that's 95. So for the sake of calculating, let's say it's 100. So that is $22,000 sitting right there. And then we can do another 22,000 from that or 20,000 from that when we're cutting the other one. So we made 8,000, about 8,000 today, right? Sold harvest, sold wood, 4,400, 7,300. So we made about seven and a half. And we, let's say 20 and 20. So we're making 47,000 just with the grass that we're cutting off the land before we are making fields out of it. That is a lot because this is half of what the land cost us just in silage in the first couple of days we might even be able to afford another piece of land pretty soon because we have about 106,000 in the bank. We are making another 40, roughly said. That's, uh, we've got 106, we need 94 for the harvester. So we've got about 10,000 available. We make about 40 with the silage here, which gives us 50. So we would be about 30,000 short to buy the next piece of land. Just cutting these threes down is going to be gaping us quite a bit. Nowhere close to 30,000. But let's take a quick inventory here. We've got a few minutes. Let's take a quick inventory on what we have. So we have wheat, 14,000 liters at 710. That gives us roughly uh, 10,000 barley we've got 15,000 at 660 that gives us another 10,000 oat we have 11,000 at 1120 so 1100 that gives us 12,000 so these three together are 32,000 then we have canola 11,000 in there right now and we're going to be harvesting and that comes in at 1200 that is another 40,000 
Uh, excuse me. So we've got 46,000 between those four. Right there. And those together are 40,000. So with what we have in the silo when we're selling it correctly and that, what those two that we're getting here, we are going to be able to afford the next piece of land. And those three are going in fall three, wind or winter one. So this means this means before spring come we can afford the next piece of land. Then worth chopping down those large trees, this complete piece of wood, and planting the other one over there. Yeah. We are going to be able to afford our next piece of land. Let's turn off grass. So now we have this one here. We can start making this large. We can start making this one. This is then still our field one. This is field two. Those are field three. We started here, so this is field three. This is going to be field four here. This one is going to be field four. This is three. So then the question is, where do we go next? South? Or over here? Because this is also going to be getting a nice big one. And this allows us doing a little bit more. Forestry. Well, this one here is a lot of forestry. I don't want to go for forestry yet. Let me think what you think. We could go with 36 or 35, which because of this piece of big piece of woods in there, I'm not so sure about. Also, I'm kind of tending more towards something 15, 16, 17, or 27. Sixteen is not making a lot of sense because it's disjoint. I'm kind of thinking, leaning towards fifteen. I do guys let me know what you think we should do. Most of our equipment is getting clean. It's nice and clean. And then there is also one important question that our farmer needs to answer. Yes, we are starting here with fields right now, because we need fields. We need um, producing something. Do we want to get into animals or not? And if we're going to get go into animals, which ones? Decisions, decisions, decisions. 
so many to make, so many to get wrong, so many mistakes to make and to learn from. With that, this is the end of episode 5. Thanks for watching. The subscribe button is coming up on your screen right now. So if you like, please subscribe, like, comment down below. And continue watching. The next episode is going to be coming soon. Thank you. Good night.